January 9th, 2011, 10 o'clock. Been here for about, about an hour and a half. Got this hole started right by this little last tree. We're gonna see what we didn't, there's about a three foot circle around it looks like it's gonna be. I did find this nice tool. And then I found um, this other one, kind of a bigger cruder tool. Just the corner of a tool on the base of a rough point. Got the rock head down there. We're going to try to come up with something pretty decent today. Let's hope. Keep our fingers crossed. And I'll, hopefully I'll get back with you. It's 12 o'clock. I dug up a quarter sack of gallon sack of tools. I was digging around that tree. I'm coming over to dig around these two trees. I just decided to go ahead and dig a ditch in between them. Check that out right there. He's a rough one, but uh-oh. What happened? There. Okay, I'm gonna pick this baby up. And this the big old big old dog. They could have made him better for me, but we're all right. Maybe we'll find a better one. Hey, this is Richard on January the 30th. It's 11:15. I'm on uh, this new piece of property that we got uh, that we've acquired to dig on, and um, right here is a little opening in a field and a hump right up there, and then. Way over there by that big tree is the highest hump in the field. Deer stand on there, which probably means it's going to be a really good place to find a camp. I see some kind of old teeth over here on against a tree. Uh, it's grown into the tree. All right, I'm gonna. Walk up through the woods here and I'll get back with you and show you little spots of this place. I'm gonna start by, like I said, I already know there's a camp out there. I dug one up last week over there on the opposite side of that big tree, about 100 yards that away. So now I'm gonna take off down through here and uh, I'm gonna go try to find a good place. I'll tell you what I find. There's an old spring. It's always a good sign there'll be Indians around somewhere where there's a spring. A little hump right up here. Woo! sneak up on him here. Oh, there he goes. Now see, I'm down here where there's a there's a creek right over there, about 75 yards, but see how wet and swampy it is down in here. It's kind of a, it's an old overgrown field. But, unless I find a high hump on this, I highly doubt that I would find any Indian campsites on it. Maybe up there on that hill a little bit. We'll, on a couple of them humps. We'll keep checking her out. Check that hole out. Now why did somebody dig that? Right there's the hump. I mean right there's the dirt that came out of that hole. Why they dug that hole I have no idea. Now we've come up the hill, up the hollow about, oh, about three or four hundred yards. And now this is looking a whole lot better. Got a nice big field, and of course right over there we see them sycamores and stuff's a creek. Right here's the, 
but there's another deer stand. Usually wherever these deer hunters put their, if they're a good deer hunter, they're usually pretty close to a campsite. We'll keep it going. Look up here, treasure seekers. The lady said probably ain't nobody's lived here. Well, they haven't lived here for like 60 some years. I'm gonna bring Kim up here and let her metal detect around. I'll show you some finds if she finds anything. Probably a good place for the Indian campsite up here too, I'd say. Get back with you. Guy had a bad itch. That hump right across this little creek starting to look good to me. We're still headed up that same hollow. But there's a nice hump right above this little place right here. I'm gonna check her out and see. It's already 12, it's already 12.30. I ain't got much time left to go dig. I went up that hollow, followed every hollow, every ridge, I was down in the bottoms, went all the bottoms around. Guess about two and a half hours worth of walking and done about 20 test digs and nothing. So I'm gonna go back down to where I know there's something to dig at. I don't think that hollow could support a good tribe no matter what. But probably right here where this hump is between the house and the barn, sorry about the heavy breathing. Between the house and the barn is where the, gonna be another site right here where I'm putting the film at, the camera. And then when I bring Kim back, I'll come back up here and I'll test this and I'll go up this hollow here behind the barn, see if there's anything this way. Most dangerous thing about around these barns around here is walking into somebody's meth lab. I'm gonna go try to dig some arrowheads up and I'll come back up here and try this later on. Look here, Stumpy, I rented you a place out if you can make it. Got nice windows, even got you a stove inside. I got one of these in our basement. Except this one's electric, ours is just a hand cranker. Huh. He just went to the ground and caught something just now. No wonder he wasn't wanting to leave up. There he goes. Well, I finally made it back here to my my field and my first site that I was going to start on with my big tree here. Probably haven't been here five minutes. And look at here, coming out from underneath these tree roots. A little impact fractured, it looks like. A little dark point type deal. That's pretty good to see after two days of no arrowheads. Hopefully I'll find one more. I'm gonna give her another half hour and I gotta go see the Boston Celtics and the Lakers. I'll see the Lakers kick some ass. But, excuse me. All right, it's been a rough couple days. It's hard to follow one of them beautiful, beautiful arrowheads like that out of Tim's overhang, or his field. Here was my cucumber from the day before. Some big old tools, big half tool, ugly little tool, not a bad ads. Another ads, 
broken metal, nice color. Every once in a while I just, why I don't know, I just like the colors of them flakes. This would have been a monster drill. And glossy. It's a shame. And that's a broken piece of a tool. And the base. I figured what the heck, if I'm having these rough days, you guys might as well see my rough days too. There. I don't always have good days. Although that Tim seems to be my lucky charm there lately. Nice one. Check this one out. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Look at that. Man. What a point that would have been. He is so cool. And then this adds was the best one from yesterday. It's got the pretty blues and browns and kind of a little bit of polish. Pretty for a tool. And then today at my new spot, I just, like I said, I spent most of my time just walking. Oh, I'm shaking there a little bit. Here is something they were using a rock. I know it's hard to see probably in this light, but this here is a little nut and stone. And then this flake. And believe it or not, I stuck this thing underneath my fingernail and blood came out. A little piece I didn't really think was an arrowhead at first, but it sure is. And this little impact fractured like a king's. Well, I'm going to spend the rest of the day repricing my cucumber stuff on the internet, watching the Lakers. And then I'm going to put together a video of all the artifacts I found on January 2011. Thank you all for watching. I'll get back with you.